Hi, I'm Marisol, an educator here at the Dallas Arboretum. To show that we're thinking about you right now, we have put together some fun family activities. To share those right now is my colleague, Christine. Take it away, Christine. Today's activity, What's Living in Our Yards, was inspired by the Habitats Gallery. While on our walk and maintaining social distancing, we started to notice some different things in this field. What do you see? What do you hear? While watching the butterfly, we looked down and noticed this little guy. We made sure to give him his space and not to touch. What is it? Why do you think it's hiding there? After leaving the rabbit, right we decided to investigate okay. other things living in the grass. Right there, in the grass. Can you see him? It's a grasshopper. Yeah, it's a cricket, huh? It's got <coughs> six legs. It's hiding <coughs> in, the, in the grasses underneath. It. It found a worm. A big one? Yeah, it's bigger than the last one we were looking at. Let's see what this one looks like. One, one, oh yeah, one, this one is... You want a picture of it? You see how it is extended? Oh, he curled back up! Yeah. Do you think the organisms would be the same in this habitat? Make a hypothesis. Why do you think this is true? While the organisms in different habitats are likely different, they do all have similar needs. Food, water, shelter, air to breathe, space to grow. If you can safely do so, consider going on a walk and looking for organisms in your neighborhood habitat. What organisms are there? What do they need? Can you find their needs? If not, consider going online and looking for other habitats and the organisms that live there. 